Hello and welcome to F4 Discover Free video tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to install IAR plugin for F4 Discover Free so that you can debug and program it using IAR embedded workbench on Windows. If you want to know about F4 Discover Free, you can visit our website at www.isnk.com slash robotics slash F4 Discover Free. So let's get started. Here we have an evaluation version of IAR embedded workbench already installed. Now we need to install its plugin using package installer. Read the license agreement and the disclaimer. Within the drop down menu, you choose IAR plugin and click next keep it at default location keep everything at its default locations and this for this one I want to un uncheck it and do it later installation is done and you can close the package installer. Now I'm going to plug in F4 Discover Free into the USB port. As you can see here, we have a library of CAM view of F4 Discover Free so that when we debug and program it, we can watch it in real time. I'm going to minimize this for for now. The first time you install, the first time you plug in F4 Discover Free, it's going to ask you for device driver. So you need to point it to the location where you have it installed, which is under C Program Files Isenk FTDI, and click Next. There are two ports on FTDI chip that you need to install and ask for the driver. So you need to do it one more time and point it to the location of program files as in FTDI. And now the hardware driver installation is done. Now before we continue with the writing a program under IAR embedded workbench you need to run the filter wizard we are going to install a device filter click next and make sure you choose only USB serial converter port A and leave port B as it is so we are going to filter only port A so that OpenOCD can use it to flash and to debug. That's it. And you may close the filter installer. Okay, everything is set. Now let's go to test our setup. Here we use the IO toggle example so we are opening the IO toggle example right click on that project and choose options in the general options category under the target tab, make sure your device is STM32F47IG and also set the FPU to VFP version 4. Now go to debug category. Under the setup tab, choose the GDP server as the driver. 
and leave everything as it is. And under the GDB server, set the TCP IP address to localhost, 3333. After you're done, then you can click OK. Now you can build the project by clicking Make. And now you need to open a command prompt and start the Open OCD. So you type Open OCD dash F interface slash ft two two three two d dot cfg dash f target slash stm three two f four x dot cfg. So this is how to start the uh, open ECD as a GDP server. So the first time you run this open OCD the Windows Firewall will ask you whether to block or unblock this uh, network access. So you need to unblock it. So the G GDP server is running, opens it open with uh, within Open OCD, and you need to keep this window open during programming and debugging. Now let's go back to our project under IR. If you go under project, you need to click download and debug. But uh, let me show you the live webcam view. Okay, here. Now I'm going to download and debug. So it's downloading the application. Flashing. And there you go. Now it stops exactly at the main function. So you can uh, run. So there you go. So the the I/O toggle is running. You can stop it. You can put a breakpoint. For example, I can put a breakpoint before turning on the first LED and then run it. Another breakpoint, for example, before turning off all LEDs and run it. And there you have it. So, stop exactly there. You can also go, go through all your code step by step, step over, as uh, you know what you can do with the IR embedded workbench. So that's how easy to set up the plugin for IAR embedded workbench for debugging and programming on F4 Discover Free. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and see you in another tutorial.